Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW meal prep. I have so many incredible recipes to share with you guys for this week's meal prep. I'm excited again for another week of food. I will tell you if you have not seen my meal prep that went up last Monday where I made the pancake bake and the wraps, that was literally my favorite meal prep that I've ever done. Everything was so good. I took the caramel pretzel cupcakes, some of those into my real estate office. Everybody there loved them. So definitely a must make series. Same with this one. I'm incredibly excited for all the recipes that I want to share with you guys today. So if you want to see what's on my meal prep for breakfast, lunch, and of course a sweet treat, then all you have to do is keep watching. <music> For breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making a breakfast burrito. I have never meal prepped one of these, and I was thinking in my head of some great ingredients that would be kind of non-traditional in a breakfast burrito, and I came up with a combo that I think is going to be delicious. So I'm gonna share with you what I'm gonna be putting into my breakfast burritos, and I'm gonna go ahead and pair this just with a fruit. So you're going to need some Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles, some arugula, that's gonna give it that little bit of spice. I love arugula in this type of a dish. I'm gonna be doing a mix of egg whites and regular eggs. You'll need some seasonings, some salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use Dax Greek. And I know it sounds weird, but the seasonings in this Greek is exactly what is gonna pair well with my recipe. So this is the Dax Super Greek. Dax seasonings are amazing. They have zero salt, nothing artificial. They are all natural. They are great before weigh-in because they lack the salt that's going to help you retain water. And the flavor is absolutely amazing. So in this particular one, the Super Greek, there's spices, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion, and spearmint, excuse me, spearmint leaves. And that's it. So that is the perfect combination for what I'm gonna be making. There are over 20 seasonings on Dax's website. There is a link down in the description box. If you click the link and enter my code here on the screen, you'll get 10% off your order and free shipping. I highly recommend Dax. Head on over, order some seasonings. You see me use these a lot because they're my fave. So I'm gonna be doing the super Greek in my breakfast burritos. I'm gonna be using the Tomorrow's Premium White Wraps, and then we're gonna put in some sun-dried tomatoes and some feta cheese, and that is what's going to be in our breakfast burrito, so let's get started. To get started on our breakfast burritos, I've went ahead and sprayed my pan here with some non-stick cooking spray, and to that, I am going to add six eggs. I'm actually going to be making six burritos instead of five. Uh, I want to have one for breakfast this morning as well. So I'm going to go ahead and crack six eggs. And then I also have one half of a cup of egg whites. And that's just to kind of bulk it up without adding in those extra calories. I'm going to add one cup of my Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles. And then I'm also going to add one half of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. And I packed those sun-dried tomatoes down in there. They are zero points. They are not packed in any type of oil or anything. So the sun-dried tomatoes are zero. And then I'm going to put in a good dose of my Dax Super Greek. And then lastly, we're just going to do some salt and some pepper and we're going to go ahead and scramble down our eggs when they're just about done we're going to add in our arugula and give it a chance to wilt once your eggs start to cook down we're going to go ahead and add in just a couple of good sized handfuls of arugula it will wilt down to virtually nothing as you know and we're going to allow that to wilt down throughout the rest of the cooking process of our eggs look at how delicious this looks so next I'm going to add in the entire container of the fat-free feta. It is six ounces, so that is one ounce per serving of the breakfast burrito. I'm going to mix that together and we're going to start assembling up our burritos. So we are ready to put together our wraps. We are, again are using the Tomorrow's wraps. You can use the Olay Extreme Wellness or whatever wraps you like. I like these. They're one smart point. And then look at this egg mixture. Doesn't this look delicious with the sun-dried tomatoes, the feta? 
So I'm gonna just divide this as evenly as I can into six servings. And we're just gonna put that here into the middle of our burrito. Oh, this looks so delicious. So yummy. And we're just gonna roll that up and that's gonna be our breakfast burrito. So gonna be really, really easy. We're gonna pair that with some fruit. So I've got it here on a sheet of saran wrap and then I'm just literally going to, once I fill it, I'm just gonna go ahead and immediately roll it up. You can store these in the refrigerator. You can store these in the fridge, but that is our breakfast burrito. So let me get the other five of these put together. So here is our breakfast for the week. So we have our breakfast burritos here. So for the breakfast burrito, the wrap is one smart point. The eggs are zero. The sun-dried sun -dried tomatoes and arugula are zero. The Jimmy Dean sausage crumbles are one. And the feta is zero. So this entire breakfast burrito is two smart points. That's it, you guys, for breakfast. And then we're just going to pair that with a bag of delicious ripe juicy cherries for zero so this entire breakfast meal prep two smart points you can't beat that for a breakfast burrito and fruit and what a great way to start your day with low points but a hearty delicious breakfast for my lunches this week i'm going to be making fish tacos as well as we'll make a mexican fruit salad so first for our fish tacos let me show you what is in those i'm actually really excited about this recipe super low points and it sounds delicious so we're gonna need some fish i just have some tilapia fillets here i have defrosted them and they are just whole fillets i weighed them out and they are each right about five ounces which is the perfect amount for my tacos for seasoning, you're going to need some salt and pepper, and the recipe calls for cayenne. I do not have any cayenne. You know I like to substitute the Dax Italian Blast because it does have a little bit of a kick, but I like the flavor a lot better than I like the flavor of cayenne. So again, no salt, amazing ingredients. If you're interested in Dax, don't forget about the link and discount code in the description box. So I'm gonna add some of the Dax Italian Blast, garlic powder and cumin, light sour cream, cilantro, shredded green cabbage, a red onion, a lime, and of course some extra thin mission tortillas. So let's get started on our fish tacos. The first thing that we need to do is chop, chop, chop. So I'm going to chop up some cilantro, put it here in a bowl. This is for garnish on top of the fish tacos. And then in a larger bowl, I'm going to dice up half of my red onion and I'm going to juice my lime and add all of that here to this large bowl. my chopped up red onion here to my bowl. To that, I'm going to add my entire bag of cabbage. The recipe calls for three cups, and I'm gonna say that the whole bag is pretty close to three cups. And I'm just gonna give it a quick mix to try to incorporate just the red onion in a little bit better with the cabbage, ah, yum. And then to that, I'm going to add the juice of our lime that we squeezed. We're also going to add one cup of light sour cream. Now, you can do non-fat Greek yogurt, I am sticking with sour cream. I'm okay taking the points for it. I think I want that authentic sour cream flavor versus the non-fat Greek yogurt. And these tacos, you guys, the points are so incredibly low that it's worth putting in that cup of the light sour cream. So I'm gonna kind of mix this together a little bit. And then the last thing we're gonna add to this cabbage mixture is just some salt. This cabbage mixture will just go into the refrigerator until we've cooked our fish and we're ready to put together our tacos. So go ahead and give that a nice big stir. Make sure everything is incorporated, those onions, the sour cream, that lime juice, and your cabbage.
Now we're going to put together our seasoning for our fish. So I'm going to start with my Dax Italian Blast. Now I don't like things really spicy, so I'm going to go a little bit light on the Dax just because I'm not a fan of spicy food. The recipe wants you to go ahead and use a quarter teaspoon of the cayenne pepper. We're also going to add some garlic powder and we want about a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. We're also going to add in our cumin, and again, about a half of a teaspoon of cumin. Cumin's just gonna give it that nice Mexican vibe. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our salt and pepper, half of a teaspoon of each of those as well. And then we're just gonna give this a quick mix. And then this will go on our tilapia fillets once we get them cooking down in the pan. So add your salt and pepper. And then just take your spoon and kind of mix those seasonings together and we'll sprinkle those on top of our tilapia fillets once we start frying those up. So I've added two of my five tilapia fillets to my pan. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of that seasoning mix that we put together on both of my fillets here. And we're gonna go ahead and let these cook down and we'll kind of break them up into chunks once they start cooking and then we'll add our other three fillets to the pan and as they're cooking we're just going to set them aside it's okay if they cool down while the rest of the tilapia is cooking so let's put together our lunch fish tacos so i have my fish here i decided to kind of break it up into smaller pieces so i can shove it down into the burrito shell a little bit better here is our slaw this looks amazing i also have my extra thin tortillas and my cilantro so i'm gonna have to put this together in stages and then when i go to eat it actually assemble the taco so in the bottom of my meal prep bowl i'm gonna go ahead and add a good amount of my fish again this is enough for five tacos so i want about one fifth of the fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the bottom. That way I can easily warm this up when I'm ready to eat my lunch. And then into this small bowl here is where I'm actually gonna add in my slaw for my fish tacos. And that way I can pull it out of the bowl when I go to warm up the fish. So again, I'm gonna kind of divide that even as, even as I can amongst five servings. So add a little bit of slaw here to my bowl. And then I have a Ziploc baggie here, which is where I'm going to add my taco shell. So I'm gonna be having two tacos each day with lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop in two of my Mission corn tortillas. So there is those, seal that up. And then the last step is to take another small Ziploc baggie and just add some cilantro. And that way I can top my tacos with some fresh cilantro. So how I'm gonna assemble my bowl is the fish on the bottom, of course, because then I can remove everything else to kind of warm up my fish. Actually, let me kind of slide it over. There we go. And then I've got my little bowl here with the slaw. So I'm gonna pop a lid on that put that into my meal prep container alongside the fish. And then I'm just going to roll up my taco and my cilantro, and I'm just gonna shove everything here into my meal prep bowl. And then when I go to warm up my tacos, I'll remove all the cold ingredients and warm up the fish and assemble my tacos. So I'm gonna put together the other five of my meal prep containers. Along with my fish tacos for lunches, I'm gonna be making a Mexican fruit salad. I'm actually really excited about this. So in the fruit salad, you're going to need a pineapple, a watermelon, papaya, mango, a lime, and then chili lime seasoning. So I'm going to be using the Trader Joe's chili lime. So we've got a lot of chopping to do to put together our Mexican fruit salad. So we're going to start chopping all of our fruit. I have a large bowl here that I'm just going to plunk all of the fruit in. I'm going to start with the pineapple, go to the watermelon, the papaya, and the mango. So lots of chopping in my near future.
I have my fruit all cut up. Doesn't this look amazing? So to my fruit, I went ahead and juiced one lime. So I'm just gonna add the lime juice directly into my fruit. And then I'm gently, because mangoes are need to be gently stirred, pineapple, watermelon, most of these fruits should probably be gently stirred together. So I'm just gently going to mix that lime juice in with all of my fruit. You guys, this looks so delicious. And then the last step would be to add the chili lime seasoning, but I don't wanna add that until I go to eat my fruit. So I'm going to container up my fruit as it stands with just the lime juice on it, and then we'll add the chili lime seasoning as we go to eat it. So here is my lunch prep for the week. So I have here my fish tacos with my slaw, my fish, my tortilla shells, all ready to go in a meal prep bowl. Here is my Mexican fruit salad. It's just all bagged up. I'll just bring the chili lime with me and I'll just sprinkle it right on top of the fruit when I go to eat it. But I'm excited to have mangoes, papayas, yum. And then I'm also for dessert going to take one of my Choco Right peanut butter cup patties. So this is what these look like. There are two of the peanut butter cups per package and it is two smart points for the entire package. And these are pretty close dupe to Reese's, you guys. They're delicious. So I purchased these off of the Protein Wise website. And again, there is a link down in the description box that will give you $10 off your first order. So essentially you can get $10 worth of any product that you want for free off of the website. And they have a ton of WW friendly products. So definitely go and check out the Protein Wise website. You won't be sorry. There again is so many great WW options. So for my lunch, Two of the fish tacos with the slaw is a total of five smart points. Zero for the fruit, two for the peanut butter cups. So this entire lunch, you guys, seven points. That's it. So this is going to be my seven smart point lunch. So here are the completed fish tacos. This is my lunch for today. So here is what two of the tacos with the slaw and the cilantro look like. And I also have that Mexican fruit salad sprinkled with a little bit of chili lime. So this is going to be what lunch looks like when I do prepare the rest of my fish tacos for the week, but these look so good. For a snack this week or a dessert, I'm gonna be making Jamie Eason's pumpkin bars. I've made these before and these are phenomenal. They are so low point and they are so incredibly delicious. So let me show you what is going to be in our pumpkin bars. So first you're going to need some almond milk, whatever your preference is. You're going to need some vanilla protein. So I'm gonna be using the Devotion Angel Food Cake Protein Powder. This protein powder is so good. It's sweet, it's delicious. It doesn't have any weight taste, aftertaste, chalkiness, none of that. It is absolutely delicious protein powder. It is fantastic for baking. I like it in protein shakes. I just love Devotion. So I'm gonna be using the Angel Food Cake. If you are interested in Devotion, I do have a link down in the description box. Click the link, enter my discount code here on the screen, and you'll get 10% off your order, so you can't beat it. Definitely pick up Devotion. There is a chocolate brownie batter one as well, and you'll be seeing this a lot in my upcoming video. So I'm gonna use the angel food cake. You'll need some egg whites, salt, oat flour, and I just picked this up at my regular grocery store. It's a Bob Mill brand. Some sort of sweetener of your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and use monk fruit. The recipe calls for all of the components of pumpkin pie spice. And instead of pulling out all those spices, I'm just gonna go with pumpkin pie spice. So this is Dax. Dax is a fantastic seasoning, no salt, all natural, real whole ingredients, nothing added to it. And their spices really truly are absolutely amazing. So this one has cinnamon. Oh, I can't read it. Sorry, cinnamon spices and honey and then just a little bit of an anti-caking agent to try to keep it from sticking together. But Dax is really, truly wonderful. If you're interested in Dax, I have a 10% off code here on the screen that'll give you 10% off and free shipping. They have over 20 seasonings. I have every single one. I love every single one. I've shown them several times in my videos, but with fall coming up, I definitely recommend the pumpkin spice, best I've ever had, and no salt. So it's great before weigh-in as well. So we're just gonna do Dax pumpkin spice. 
baking powder, baking soda, a can of pumpkin, vanilla extract, unsweetened applesauce, and whatever nut you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and use up the rest of these pecans. So let's get started on our delicious pumpkin bars. So let's put together our pumpkin bread. It is so incredibly easy. Everything goes into one bowl, easy, easy. So I have eight tablespoons of my sweetener. And again, I decided to use the monk fruit sweetener. So I have eight tablespoons of that. We want half of a cup of applesauce. So generally I will use two of the little applesauce cups, which is a little bit over a half of a cup, but it's just, in place of oil to make your bread moist so it really doesn't have any negative effect on the recipe and then we also have a teaspoon of baking powder baking soda half of a teaspoon of salt that i've went ahead and added and then again i'm using the dax pumpkin spice in placement of all of the spices so i'm just going to put in a good amount of my pumpkin spice and make sure we've got lots of delicious flavor here. And then lastly, I have my can of pumpkin puree. So I'm gonna add that. And then we are just going to mix this together until everything is combined before we add in the rest of our wet ingredients. So again, it is very easy once you pull all the ingredients out and measure them, the rest of it is super easy. So I'm gonna stir this, get this fully combined, and we'll add in the rest of our ingredients. Once you have those ingredients nice and combined, we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. So I have my two scoops of the Devotion Angel Food Cake Protein Powder. I'm telling you, this is a must have for this recipe. It definitely makes a difference on the taste. And then we have four large egg whites, one half of a cup of almond milk, we have two cups of oat flour. Now you could substitute white flour. Oat flour is supposedly a little bit better for you and that's why it's called for in this recipe. I can't tell any taste difference with the oat flour versus regular flour. So I use it for the added benefits. And then we're gonna add in one teaspoon of our vanilla extract. And then lastly, I just roughly chopped one half of a cup of pecans. And then we're gonna get this all mixed together. You wanna make sure not to over mix your bread because then it comes out spongy. So just get it till everything is nice and combined and incorporated. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this ready to go into our pan and into the oven. So it is that easy. And here is our pumpkin bread right before it goes into the oven. It smells amazing already. So I'm gonna pop it in the oven and I'll be back to show you what it looks like when it is all done. I just pulled our pumpkin bars out of the oven. Look at how delicious that these look. So I'm gonna let these cool for a little bit. We're gonna cut them into 12 servings, 12 servings. So it's gonna be quite a large piece and I'll plate it up and give you the smart points. So here is our completed pumpkin bar. I just want a close up of how amazing this looks on the inside, look at that. It is so good. It is soft and moist. So this is on a salad plate. So the size of a traditional salad plate. So this is quite a large serving. And this is 1 12th of the 9 by 13 pan. And this is only three smart points. So you can have quite a large serving of the pumpkin bar for only three smart points. Now, if you want to make this into more of a traditional dessert, you can add one point's worth of the sugar-free vanilla frosting. I always warm it up in the microwave for just a second, get it nice and soft, and then smear it over the top of the bar, and you would have a four smart point dessert. That is healthy for you. There is pumpkin, there's oat flour, there's some nuts for some fat. So yeah, that's it, guys. This is our Jamie Eason pumpkin bar. And again, you can add a little bit of sugar-free frosting if you're going after that more dessert type but again three smart points for quite a large pumpkin bar so i am definitely calling this one a win so here's what i'm going to be bringing for some snacks this week so first of course my morning snack is always a built bar so here are the built bars that i'm going to be bringing this week i have the orange chocolate cream i have the built burner and peach cobbler the cinnamon chocolate cream the Built Burner in Pina Colada, and the Built Burner in Strawberry Banana. These bars, you guys, are amazing. They are three smart points. They taste like a candy bar. They keep you full and satisfied. 
The actual original Built Bars have 15 grams of protein and the Built Burners have 18. So they definitely keep you full. The flavor is amazing. It's sweet, it's delicious. If you haven't picked up the Built Bar or you wanna still try the new flavor that just came out, which is mango chocolate cream or any of these Built Burners, head on over to BuiltBar.com. Use my code here on the screen to save 10% and get free shipping. You can also click the link in the description box and it will automatically bring you to the website and automatically give you the 10% off discount. So definitely order Built Bars, a staple in my house. I eat one every single day. I'm also going to be finishing up this bag of pretzels. I had bought these to make those pretzel caramel cupcakes and I want to get them finished up before they are gone. You can have an entire serving for three smart points. So just kind of a nice crunchy snack to have. And then lastly, I'm going to be having a new find, which is something I have grown to be obsessed with. And these are the grass fed iconic protein drinks. This particular one is cafe latte. Now I am not a big fan of the premier protein. I, I don't care for a lot of the ingredients and I just don't think the flavor is that great, especially if you want to drink it by itself. So I reached out to Iconic and asked them a little bit about their protein drinks, ordered myself a case of the cafe latte and I'm loving it. You guys, 20 grams of protein, three grams of sugar, 130 calories. But here's the best part. It is non-GMO, gluten-free, truly, I can't read that very well, lactose-free as well, and absolutely amazing. So 180 milligrams of caffeine in this one. So it's great as a coffee replacement or to add it to your shots of coffee, which is what I generally do. And here are your nutritional information. So less calories than the premiere and it is still only two smart points. So if you take a look here, here are your ingredients. So in my opinion, much better ingredients than the premiere protein. So give it a try. It is absolutely amazing. They are sustainable. They are a sustainable company, grass fed cows. I mean, really, truly just amazing. And they have a hundred percent Arabica bean coffee in their cafe latte. So love my iconic protein, two smart points. I'll be having that every day. I actually like it all by itself or in shots of coffee. So if you're interested in the iconic, um, I reached out and asked if they'd be willing to offer you guys a discount and they said yes. So on the screen is my discount code, which gets you 15% off of any order of iconic. And there are several flavors, vanilla, chocolate, the coffee, lots of flavors to choose from. I highly recommend that you guys pick them up. So that is everything that I'm going to be bringing for snacks for the upcoming week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the recipes that I shared. And let me tell you, everything is so good. Those pumpkin bars for the smart points are so good. They keep you full. They're packed full of amazing ingredients. Definitely make every, definitely make it all, make it all on this week's meal prep. It is all so good and how easy to just reheat everything as well throughout the week. I do get a lot of questions about freezing, reheating. I do not freeze my meal prep. I just keep them in the fridge as I do eat them throughout the week. There's never any leftovers. And in the event that there would be leftovers, I would just have it on the weekend or my husband would eat it. So I don't freeze my meal preps. I simply put them in the fridge for the week. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. We have meal prep every single Monday. Make sure you hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload. Please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what did you guys think of this meal prep and which recipe or recipes are you most excited to try? And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.